So back on our home page of SIRS, we're going to click on Advanced Search, which is this link right underneath the basic search bar. And with an advanced search, you can be more specific with what you're looking for, not just with your keyword phrase, but also with the type of source that you're looking for. So these are all of the different types of sources that are possible in this database based on your topic and your keyword search. If, for example, your instructor or professor has said that they only want you to use scholarly journal articles, then this would be the place to select that as soon as you go into your search. If your professor has told you that they want articles only from the last five years, then this is where you could add your custom date before conducting your search. And again, you can limit to primary sources or if there's a particular Lexile score reading level that you want to search, you can use this as well. So this is an option to use before conducting a basic search if you already know what you're looking for. But of course, the other option would be to use the filters after you've conducted your basic search as I've already shown you. I just also want to remind you with your keyword searches as you already saw with a couple of searches that I've done that your keywords do matter and your phrases matter in giving you different results. So if, for example, I decide to type in Trump's border wall as opposed to just border wall in quotation marks and I ask for scholarly journal articles only, it could be that I get nothing. Um, if I remove the quotation marks with the same phrase and hit enter, I get one article that's a scholarly journal. If I remove the scholarly journals and allow for all source types and have Trump's border wall, then you see I have 596 results. So it does matter what you type, uh, how you type it, whether you use quotation marks or not, how specific you are with your keywords, how broad or general you are, the combination of phrases, the rearranging of words. So always keep in mind what you're typing in the box if you do decide to use the search box. And that's pretty much it for ProQuest SERS Issues Researcher Database.